Um, yeah, how about Jimmy on Shy? Brackata, yeah, how about Brackata, yeah, how Shy? Brackata. To the Akim, Wakim. Rather keeping his word, truth, and all sincerity, teaching the downfall. He saw the two thirds, his wicked kingdom, and these heathens. Um, I'd like to give a double honor to the Ha by Shadawada, the house of David. Kwam Yasha Allah. Right, Israel. Lam Lam Yam forever and ever. Um, Slakia. Um, I just was thinking about something and it kind of, kind of made me start thinking why, here's the thing. This is one thing when we're talking about radio frequency. Hey, 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 guys. We're talking about radio frequencies and things like that. Um, you're talking about like electro, electrical magnetic fields and things like that. And I, I started thinking, um, how many of these people actually in the hospital, They've been saying that these people have been dying with heart conditions, blood conditions, lung conditions, breathing problems. When you really think about it, how many of these people actually had heart issues? How many of these people actually had uh, had fucking like pacemakers or something like that that was inside of them? Um, because, I mean, if you think about it, the first thing you would have thought like after Soleimani had been killed was like, oh, Iran or Iraq or wherever the fuck country he was from would have done something like an EMP or they, they did something. You know, they said, get ready for dark days. You know, you would think they would have hit us back with the EMP or something in that type of, uh, you know, electrical style of, a, of an attack. But what really, what's really been happening is, um, you know, we've been getting a lot of radio... You know, there's been a lot of frequency problems. People have been saying that there's been a, a lot of, uh, like it, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of uh, poisoning, like radioactive poisoning or like poisoning from like, um, you know, like nuclear, nuclear, nuclear type bomb type poison, whatever the word is for it. I can't really think for it right now, but it had me thinking all these people that have died. How many of them have had pacemakers? How many of them had some type of electrical something in their body, you know, that's keeping them alive? You know, if this is a new frequency type thing, what happened with the last people that was getting sick with the H1N1? Did they have also pacemakers in them? Did they have some type of, some type of, some type of uh, element or some such. Not that you need a pacemaker for an electrical magnetic field to attack you or hurt you. But if there's been videos and things popping up of plenty of birds and animals dying, just falling out the air, falling out the trees, then there has to be something a little bit more going on. And it just had me thinking. And I was like, wow, how many people are they saying dying from a virus, which probably actually are having are dying because their pacemakers or something have stopped working. Has anybody else thought about that? Am I the only one thinking like, yo, if you want, if you really wanted to do an, a war on your people and you wanted to do, use electrical magnetic waves or use um, some other type of way, let's say if the government does want to depopulate the world. I'm pretty sure they don't want to de depopulate everyone. Um, they'll probably keep the old negative males, old negative women. Um, you know, they're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna depopulate everybody. Now for that instinct, let's say, yeah, some of y'all niggas need to die. Of course, y'all, man, we talk about this all the time. Yes, man. Two thirds of this world needs to die. A lot of y'all niggas is whack, dumb. Yes. I, I, if the government was doing it, the Bible says that it's going to need to get done. I I'm in total agreement with it. You know, it has to be done. A lot of you need niggas need to be wiped out. And I know y'all be like, no, nobody needs. Yes, motherfucker, you motherfuckers are saying no, nobody needs to die. Yes, you, you're the probably the nigga needs to die. Um, 
And the reason why is, yes, the earth is super overpopulated with evilness and people that don't know how to do shit. It would be a lot better if you motherfuckers want to work together to build shit and make things correct, cleaner water. If you if we could go to the lakes and you would, didn't leave your fucking nasty ass dirty kids diaper in there, you cleaned up after yourself, but you don't. So, yes, you motherfuckers need to die, dude. You're destroying the place where you're supposed to live. The, how how you're going to kill yourself, kill us anyway, regardless um and i'm in total agree if 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 the government was planning on killing some of y'all yes man fuck it i round of applause do do what you gotta do now if they're planning on killing some of y'all to survive everybody else yes round of applause in any type of thing even in in the environment there's natural selection the government or whoever is doing what they're doing we try to say how about shimmy and shai is in control of everything he's choosing the natural selection man a lot of you men shouldn't even be here man a lot of you women shouldn't be here man you should have if it wasn't for the doctors trying to save you guys when you were kids you wouldn't be alive right now you guys to go around and save all these animals that shouldn't be alive and you wonder why the salmon and shit's all fucked up because of natural selection. You should have let the motherfuckers die. You shouldn't have went in and involved yourself with some unnatural ecosystem that you're building that keeps all the salmon in a populated area to grow the fish instead of being out there catching the fish and being a farmer, hunter, gatherer type nigga, you know. Yeah, you guys are the reason that this earth's all fucked up. You went against the laws of the Bible. The laws of God are before the laws of man. And when he says respect, he says respect the laws of the land. That's why he says in the verses, if you want to learn anything to ask an animal, you don't see animals fucking sitting out there fucking making environments for other animals to live in. Do you? You don't. You don't see animals. Well, there are animals that just kill for fun. You know, you got certain bee lions that just hunt and kill for fun. Yes, you do. Yes, they do that. It's possible. But he says, you want to ask any animal, you want to learn anything, ask an animal. You want to learn to heal, fucking animals don't eat when they're sick. You motherfuckers go to our doctor, doctor tells you to eat this soup, put loads of sodium inside of you, loads of orange juice, vitamin C. That's not actually healing. If you want to heal, you don't eat or drink anything and you let your body create new cells. They destroy the old cells and old data and everything else. But no, you too stupid and fuck. You guys are a lot of you guys are fucking weak. That's what I'm saying. You do not deserve the life that you have. Now, as for me going around and like, like as for me believing in like people murdering people. No, I don't. Or killing people. No, killing is senseless. Do I believe in murder? Yes. The Bible talks about murder. Murder is a righteous act. For instance, if you come break in my house and I fuck you up and murder you, that is a righteous act. Why? Because I'm trying to survive me and my family. If I just walk up to you on the street and shoot you for no apparent reason, that's called killing. That's a senseless act and it's stupid. Now, that's why there's a difference between what you're saying. Like if you're like, oh, the government's trying to kill us. Great. That they're not trying to kill us. There has to be a reason behind it. If they were trying to do it, perfect. Let them do it. It's genocide, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Then what do you think happens all the time? Yes, this shit just this this shit is not gonna stop, man. Because the reason why it's not gonna stop is because you guys aren't gonna stop. You don't want to farm your own food. Great. You don't want to. You don't want to do shit. You want to be lazy and you want to go be a slave. That's not how things are gonna work. It's not going to work like that. You don't want to grow grow your own chickens. You wonder why your kids got cancer. You don't know what's in your food. You are the reason that you're dying. You it's called it's called it's, it's called uh uh basically you're you're doing some I would say youth in Asia as in you're asking them to kill you, but you're kind of doing suicide yourself. You know that there's poison in the shit that you're eating. You read about it. You don't do anything to stop it. So you continue doing it, which means that you're fucking crazy. Because if you know the definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. You motherfuckers expect different results. You keep going out buying the newest phone. You keep going out and you're not going to stop. You're going to go get the newest phone. You even know if you hear 5G is destroying you. You're still going to go get the newest phone. Even if you hear that fucking water has stuff in it that makes you women act as men and you men act as women, you're still going to go purchase it. Even if we tell you, hey, stop eating and drinking water so your body can heal itself, so you could create 
uh, what is it? Auto, uh, auto, auto, fuck, autograph, auto, auto free, what the fuck ever the word is. Auto, after like two days, some of you guys a little bit more, depending on your diabetes and sugar level, you guys still won't stop eating. You'll keep eating. The Bible says that his people shall eat poison. Let me show you, because you guys are stupid. And you guys are need the, the kind of people that need, uh, that need uh, a sight to believe. You're a faith, like the Bible says, you're a faithless and perverse generation. You have no faith. I could tell you exactly what's going on. You still wouldn't fucking listen. I could tell you how to help your body. You still wouldn't listen. I would tell you how to get rid of diabetes. You still wouldn't listen. I would tell you that you don't need Viagra and you still wouldn't listen. You don't fucking want to listen. You're lazy. You're a bunch of fucking low lives. Yes, nigga, you. You're fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck if you're a blood crip, whatever the fuck you are. You the reason why your mom got high blood pressure. Why? Because you a little bitch. That's why. Because you too stupid that you don't want to, you want to go out and gang bang and do all this fucking stupid ass shit instead of sit there and be like, look, mom, let's get up and go for a walk. Let's build up the community. Fuck it, we in the projects, but let's farm. Y'all niggas is stupid, bro. That's, that's, you're, you're retards. Like I tell everybody in the other video, videos, you're retarded. As in, you were retarded before. You were retarded before. You were slow. You were slow. You were tardy. You're slow. You're mentally not capable. So when you came back through the regeneration again and you were born again as another two third, you're a fucking retard. That's what the definition of it is. And I'll show you that too. Matter of fact, I forgot what I was about to show you. Hold up. It'll come back to me. Slock it. Help. We'll just go to TARD first. You know what I mean? TARD etymology. So you know what the fuck I'm talking about. See? TARD. Tardy. Slow. This is you. Tardy. You're slow. Slowness. You're slow. You don't You don't recognize. It wait. You got to wait till everything comes to destruction before you realize that you were stupid. And that you should have been listening to the elders and the apostles. That you should have been listening to the people teaching you about the herbs of the field. You guys want to keep running down to Egypt for medicine. You're already in the slavery, but you want to keep running down to these doctors. See, the, the issue is you women are the one of the biggest problems. See, what happens is you women sit here and you you ask for all these rights. And then you start getting all these rights and you stop acting like women to try to become like men. You kick the men up out the house and then you run down to Egypt to these governments and these police officers. Then they tell you that you ain't allowed to discipline your kids. And then your kid, you know, they give you money, which a gift destroys the heart. They tell you not to discipline your fucking kids. And then guess what? Guess what? As soon as you don't discipline. Hold up. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. For thine are the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. It's like you. You're supposed to do that before you do anything. That, that If you read, that's your, you're supposed to say that before you even pray. If you actually know what you're talking about. But uh, like I said, you women, uh, you kick the men out the house. You know, you run down to Egypt to these governments that give you all this stuff, this food, food stamps, give you money. So they're helping you out, you know, help arrest your husband as long as you keep the husband out the house. You look independent, you start getting your nails done, you become a whore. But what you do, you start sending your kids to school. A woman cannot raise a man. I don't give a fuck what you think. You cannot raise a man. You cannot raise a man. A woman can't even raise a woman. You want to know why? Because a man is, even though it says nature versus nurture, if you've ever done any sociology or, uh, you know, whatever, psychology or sociology, I did both the classes, man, same time. It's fucking re same shit, reversed and shit. Stupid as shit. You cannot raise a man. A man actually, it says that the woman is the nurturer and the man is the nature, whatever. It's bullshit. The man actually teaches the woman how to care. <laughs> so who's the real nurture? The man is. Everything comes from the man. The woman comes from the man. Remember, the Bible says that a woman was created for man, not a man created for woman. Then the woman has no authority over a man. So this is what starts getting in your head that you bigger and better. And this means you tart it. You slow. That's why when you come back through the regeneration, you come back as retarded. To re-up means to redo it, to do something again. You are retarded. You are slow again. You came back as a two-third. You... You sit here and kick the man out the house, so you're taking care of these kids. Your son starts wa starts wilding out because you can't talk, take care of him. You start saying, oh, you just like your daddy, your uncles, and everybody else. Exactly, because he's a clone of his forefathers. 
So he's the only one that can create the seed again. You don't create shit. You're just the earth. You're dirt. You're just all you are is an incubator. Now, I mean, I'm not saying you worthless like that. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is you have order. You as a woman are supposed to create order. You're supposed to teach the kids what the father tells you to teach. But you teach what Esau and the devil tell you to do. So you send your kids to school. Your kids start getting beat up, shot, They tell or, or beat up. Your kids start getting bullied. They ain't got no guts because they don't know how to be a man. Or your kids start acting like a bully, start acting up, stealing, doing everything else. Now, the government, Egypt, which you ran down to, told you not to discipline your kids. Guess what? Now they coming around arresting your kids, taking your family apart, splitting the family apart just like they've always done. Guess what? Just like they did in slavery, split the family apart. Just like they did now. You're the reason they allowed that. And then guess what? They come around. They tell you not to whoop your kids. Then your kid gets shot down in the street. Why? Because your kid wasn't fucking disciplined. If you'd have done what the Bible says, the Bible says, spoil the ride, discipline your child. You should have spoiled him. You should have disciplined him when he was little. First of all, if things were in correct order, if your son didn't want to listen and hearken to the words of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai, your son would have been taken to the gates and all the elders and everybody would have, and all the elders and all the men, the young men would have stoned this little nigga to death. But hey, we ain't in them times right now. So look, you target, you are a target, and then retard. Let's look what the, what the word retard means because it's the same thing. Target, retarded, make slow or slower. So you came through the regeneration. Let's pull up the regeneration. The regeneration. This is for, this is Matthew right here. Just let you know. This is Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai, you guys call him Jesus, the name is Yahweh Shai, said unto them, Very I say unto you, that ye which have followed me into the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You came back through the regeneration, nigga. You regenerated. Do you understand what regenerate? Let's, let's put in regenerate. So you get what I'm saying. Like you. I'm spelling that wrong. There we go. Back, back formation from regeneration or from Latin regenerate. Uh, past. Look, it just basically the re you remaking. Back formation. You getting back in formation. The regeneration to get back in line to come back through. You regenerate. You come back. But hey. Y'all niggas is smart. But back to what I was saying about the five G's. About the five G towers and the animal deaths. Look, you got birds dying. People have been writing about this for a minute. There's places all over the world. Birds are just fall, falling down. So is it really a virus that's going around? Was it have these always been viruses or have every time they come out with a new G? People with pacemakers or any type of electrical thing have been dying. Because remember, even though these phones, these phones are devices. They're bombs in your pocket waiting to explode. Don't forget that. At any time, do you guys remember? I used to, I, I believe it was a Note 5 or Note 6. They were just exploding all the times in people's hands and people's bodies and just murdering people. Every time these new phones come out, what's the first thing you guys do? You run and go get a new phone. You guys wait in line like a bunch of fucking, like you're regenerating. you falling back in line every time you're regenerating. Every time a new generation come out, you regenerate back to the line. Every time. Every time. Think about it. These 5G towers. Think about it. Let's see how many RF signals a tower puts out.
All right. 5G NR uses two frequency ranges. Frequency ranges FR. No. Alright, so this says the 5G frequency band plans much more complex frequency, sub 6 gigahertz, 5G plans 500 mega, I don't know what that M stands for, MHZ. One million hertz. I was going to say millions, but I don't want to be wrong. All right, therefore, SAR value, whole body, four watts per kilogram. Four watts per kilogram is almost restrictive limits of the whole body exposure. A range of 30 to 300 million hertz where the RF energy is absorbed most efficiently when the body is exposed. Adverse influence of the radio frequency. Let's talk about plant life. Let's see. TEM frequencies. Electromagnetic environment. Okay, I'm reading right here. Electromagnetic environment of the Earth changed radically in the last few cent uh, two centuries. This study investigates the possibility of anto or uh, fuck anthro fuck anthropogenic. That's talking about light. Anthropogenic photo pho pho I believe it's talking about light. The environment. No, that's not. Humanity. Emissions of sulfur ox dioxide. Okay. I ain't no fucking nerd either. Shut up. I know y'all niggas is nerd too. Alright, so the R spectrum. Okay, so it's a radio spectrum. So can it affect sunlight? Let's look at that. Because it's affecting growth and health of aspen population. So if it's affecting that. So plants rely on inputs of EM energy. Photosynthesis. That's talking about like. And 
and for regulations of periodic flowering. Okay, so I can shoot and root growth, reparation. Not reparation, respiration. So I can. Y'all niggas like, yeah, he can't read. I'm trying to spit some shit out. Huh. Sorry if you're hearing all those baby chickens and shit. <laughs> Hey man, I'm on the phone, guys. Can I just be on the phone chilling? All right, all right, whatever. All right, radio frequency. Let's let's see how radio frequency affects sunlight. Sorry. So you you see, you got to get down to. You wonder why our plants don't have the good enough, or not the good enough, don't have. Um, you know, all the vitamins and nutrients we need. It's like it's like the sunlight is weaker, right? So what if the RF frequencies is affecting the sunlight? Huh? Have you guys ever thought about that? Plants response to high frequency uh electromagnetic fields. Uh man, I'm just trying to get to the influence of, of electromagnetic ah! Man, I can't talk right now. Influence of electric, electrical, electromagnetic radiation on plant growth. The increase of the increasing level of electric ER is an endangered factor, is a dangerous factor that poses risk of damage to living organisms. So is a plant a living organism? Yes, it is. Just like we were telling you guys about manna, the mushrooms, and you guys are like, mushrooms don't have seeds. But they have reproductive cells, which are called seeds. Seeds. We as men don't have fucking seeds. We have nuts, which are reproductive. Well, which create reproductive cells. Just like a seed is a reproductive cell. Stop saying stupid fucking shit. Look stuff up and show your proof. Doesn't the Bible say prove all things? Come on. Let's get to the point here, y'all. So... Does RF affect our light? Boom. So, possible effects of radio frequency, electromagnetic fields exposure on the central nervous system. So, let's just skip down. EMF, motherfuckers. All right, technical growth, blah, blah, blah. Technical, logical growth. Man, my brain just be gone. It'd be somewhere else. I'd be trying to catch up with my brain sometimes. Where is it at? EMF body factors, EMF levels, or scientists study magnets. Mechanisms of bio. Oh, let's skip down furthermore. Blah blah blah. Clear answers. Health risks, therefore necessary. Study. Blah blah blah. blah. Introduce it. Okay. Introduce introduction. There is a constant geomagnetic field on the sur Ooh. Is this why when we talk about the magnetic field, we talk about true north, true south, true east, true west? Yeah, because uh, like the Bible says, everything is upside down and backwards. I keep telling you motherfuckers too, bro. All this stuff they're doing is fucking with the compasses and everything else too. So how do you know that you actually praying in the right direction? When it says we're supposed to be praying towards the way that was promised to our forefathers, which would be Canaan. And so you motherfuckers want to pray to the east, which you think the east is the correct way. How do you know east ain't the other direction? I did a video on this. Like, come on, man. Think about it. If how do you know the map's not upside down? Remember, the Bible says that Esau flipped everything upside down and everything is backwards. You know, not just talking about the women trying to be his men, but everything is upside down and backwards. Think about that. 
if he's telling you, you got to kind of understand, okay, shit might be backwards. How do you know that North is the way that they tell you North is? Can you believe anything that's been taught to you, to be honest? have Can you actually believe it? You guys want to jump in and just say, oh, this is correct. That's what it is. But how do you know? How do you know the map is the right way we're actually looking at it? How do you know that? <laughs> man, how do you know? How do you know that Utah, which Utah actually means Judah, if you know anything about it. Utah means Judah. How Utah has all the cities that's in the Bible, named after all 12 of the tribes, even Manesh. And there used to be a little farm town that they didn't change up. How do you know that they already found stuff there that Moses was there, found tablets? How do you know Utah is not Judah? How do you know that America is really not where Israel is? And we've been so-called bamboozled, told that we were somewhere else, been put into slavery, put on ships, and just moved around our own place. Because the size of this Mount Sinai over there compared to Mount Sinai in Utah is two different sizes. The one in Utah is way bigger. Remember, Moses went to the top and was looking at all where he could see where all of the tribes' lands were. Remember, as far as the eye could see. Think about it. You have, we have mountains around here that look like pyramids all the time. <laughs> it just, I mean, shit don't make sense. Think about when we were escaping from Egypt. What about the what, what about the Grand Canyon? Doesn't that just sound like the place where we'd have been walking through? The, I mean, you get, you got to kind of think about this shit, man. It only it makes sense, but hey, I mean, Esau could throw some shit at the bottom of the Red Sea, what they call the Red Sea, and say, hey, we did some video, we found these things down here. Maybe they built that shit and threw it down there. Who knows what the fuck. <sighs> At this point, who knows what the fucking truth is? Who knows? It, it, and I know y'all niggas gonna do a video and be like, this nigga's bugged out. Whoop, de whoop, whoop, talk all this shit. But nigga, prove your facts. The Mount Sinai over there in so-called Israel where they're building up, they're building that shit. And they're telling you this is what it is. This is the Holy Land. They're building that shit. Okay, cool. Maybe it is. Okay, cool. But it doesn't sound like it's big enough. I mean, do some do some history. Think about it. Look how beautiful Utah is. Look at the caves and canvases and all the colors that are in the rocks that are in. Like, look at the shit, man. The word Utah means Judah. And that's a native. Like, man. Yeah. Even Okay, so Shem was promised the best lands. He had the cold weather and the hot weather lands. Jeff had the cold weather or Jeff had the, what the dry and Esau had the, or fucking ham. No, Jeff had the cold ham had the hot. Right. Okay. Get it. Understand the difference, man. But back to what I was saying, every time there's a new generation of phone or uh, electrical magnetic gigahertz and bullshit comes out. There's a new virus that comes along. When it was number two, H or 2G, fucking what was it? Uh, Ebola, 3G, H1N1, 4G, uh, no wait, 2G, 2G, Zika virus. 3G, Ebola, 4G, H1N1, 5G, coronavirus. Yes, it's affecting the elderly. Yes, we are we are a people full of a elect, uh, full of energy and uh, electricity. But how do we know these people that aren't dying aren't dying from fucking they're dying from waves, right? Cool. Of course, a virus can start because your body's immune system isn't being able to do. It's being held down in radioactive stuff. So, yes, it's creating bad data. Whoop de whoop. Drink your motherfucking pee, bro. Drink your morning pee, man. You got antibodies in there. Stop running to the doctor every time you get sick. Drink your fucking piss in the morning. It's like everything that's true in the world and it's been used for a long time. Brush your teeth with your own piss. The Romans did it for a long time and it works, man. If you stop running to these doctors for every answer. Start using fucking oil to switch around in your mouth to kill cavities. Start eating better. Start eating better green apples and oatmeal and stuff to heal your teeth. 
You got to start fucking doing better. Stop running around. Why is it that you can't drink breast milk, but you want to drink cow milk? Hmm? Nigga, do you look like a baby cow? Are you a baby cow? Moo, 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 baby cow. No, nigga, you're not a baby cow, are you? Go drink a titty milk. Nigga, get you some Cambodian breast milk. Like Dave Chappelle said, mm, delicious. Delicious, motherfucker. Some, get some Cambodian breast milk. Walk to New York if you got to do that shit. Think about it. Everything that's being told to you is an absolutely lie. But do lie. Who says that they are Jews? But do lie. But you believe everything everybody else says. But they do lie. He says to trust in God rather than man. But y'all keep running to man. Did God create that? Or did man create it? Of course God created it. Yahweh used, used, used the left hand side to create stuff. Yes, he's in control of everything. Is there evil and Yahweh not be there? Yes, he's there. But damn, y'all de y'all de deny all the plants. Y'all de deny y'all y'all too scared to sleep in a fucking tent. Y'all do it once a week or once a once a year. 